Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here with another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. I actually started yesterday uh, a VGC road to rank with my boy Wolfie Glick. So if you guys missed that, feel free to check it out. And I also started my draft league this past weekend. Um, as It's like the Corviknight video. Uh, so that's a real 6v6 type of thing. So if you guys want to check that out as well, I'll be doing that for the next few weeks every Saturday. So that should be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, we got this team by Kenny Yokely. They didn't leave... Uh, the hell? Dude, what the hell was that sound? I don't know if y'all heard that, but I think someone bought something? I have no idea. Either way. Uh, regardless, they has a team of Poltergeist, and I really like Poltergeist a lot. Um, and I like the way their team looks. It has a lot of different outs. It has good speed control in um, Shell Smash and Trick Room. Um, obviously, Max Airstream Togekiss as well with the weakness policy is really good. And just had some unique Pokemon, so I wanted to use it. So if you guys want to check out the team, feel free to as well. Um... I'm actually feeling a lot better, so I should have my face cam on for this, but I didn't have the chance to, like, really... I haven't played uh, in a couple days, by the way. But I didn't really have the chance to take a shower and get ready and everything, so... Um, forgive me, I'm, a, I'm, like, late on time. Damn, I haven't played in a bit. I haven't played in a couple days. Uh, I've mainly been playing some doubles the past few days, and then, you know, letting those videos go up. But I'm excited. Either way, it should be a lot of fun. I got some comments that people don't like when I get all excited. Well, you know what? Fuck you. Like, what the hell am I supposed to say? Like, what? Like, bro, I'm enjoying my damn game. That's it. Nobody's faking anything in this, man. I'm legitimately enjoying my game. I'm probably going to edit that out. Or not. You know what? I'm going to keep that right there. Say whatever the hell you want. I don't care. If you don't enjoy the video, leave. It's not that hard. I have no power over you. <laughs> anyway. Ooh, you kind of weak to Poltergeist, kind of, except they're going to bring Type Null, which messes me up. But I think that Hippowdon with my Fissure can uh, can deal with that as well. Hmm. Just want to see everything real quick. Is this G-Max? I don't think so. Shiny combo, nice. And Poltergeist. I mean, I like Poltergeist in this. Uh, in general in the back like, It's not bad shadow ball is really strong and giga drain helps me break through quagsire as well So I definitely like poltergeist in the back um, Hippowdon because it helps me do extra drill and can beat a lot of their team too Naturally Hippowdon and poltergeist and they probably want to bring like Maybe Lapras as a lead I like Lapras as a lead. I like those I like these more than um, I like this more I have rock slide right good I like this more than going like the Como or the uh, or Togekiss route. The Como isn't bad. Don't get me wrong. Como is actually fantastic here, but I I want to do this. I, I feel like Lapras as a lead just beats a lot of their team, and in general, it's just strong versus them with Freeze Dry and Surf. Yeah, they don't have much for it. I was really good. Hippowdon helps me deal with Type Null. I don't have to worry about Type Null. I just gotta go for Stockpiles and land a Fissure, which I will eventually. Just like that last guy, as long as they don't Dynamax. I mean, if they do, I literally stockpile and slack it off. So I, I don't think I care, personally. And plus I have Parasong as well. So they lead off an extra drill. This isn't bad. They shouldn't be able to knock me out with anything. And obviously if they go out to Quagsire, like their water resists, get beat down by Freeze Dry. I don't want that Surf. But yeah, like what I was saying in the beginning, there's a difference between constructive criticism and like just, you know, Saying stuff like that, like, bro, it's okay if you're not feeling it, though. Like, real talk, if, you don't, if you're not feeling it, go ahead and dip. That's it. But there were some, because there were some comments that were really, like, respectful about it, which is completely fair. You're able to share your opinion and do whatever you want. But then it's just people being damn right rude. Like, bro, like, it's okay. It's all right. You can leave. Nobody, nobody's controlling you right here. Anyway, Surf just looks like the best play. I think even if they Dynamax, at least I'll have Hippowdon in the back to deal with them. My paddles are so strong, period. And Poltergeist is strong too. And if they Dynamax this, that means they can't Dynamax in the back. So they just throw off an Earthquake. I have a Citrus Berry, so I'm assuming I'm going to take this decently well. Oh, I didn't even activate my Citrus. It's funny. Nice. They go ahead and bring them down to their Sash with my Lapras. Perfect. It puts them in range of Freeze Dry. Yeah, I don't got a pilot of predicting here. I might as well just click freeze dry just in case they want to make the Quagsire play for whatever reason. Again, if they Dynamax with their Excadrill, then they just wasted their Dynamax. Uh, based on that roll that I just took, I should be able to take another and that'll activate my Citrus. 
So I'll be decently bulky. I'm assuming they might actually try and Dynamax here though. Which will knock me out. Maybe they're so weak to Lapras that that's what they end up doing. But no, they just end up getting up Stealth Rock. Uh, obviously that breaks my Focus Sash on Poltergeist. So eh, not the best, but not terrible. Like as long as Excadrill goes down. So again, I don't know what they have in the back, but uh, Dynamax Lapras might also just win this first game. Let's see though. Cause like Norvern doesn't beat me. Oh, well, maybe I was wrong. I don't see a reason not to Dynamax against them. I'm pretty sure they're gonna do the exact same thing. I'll be able to survive their hit guaranteed and I'll even get my Citrus Berry. And also, even though they're Dynamax and I'm obviously Dynamax, it's a four times effective move. Yeah, I knew they Dynamax. So I wanna counteract their Dynamax. It's a four times effective move. And then the last Mon, if I don't end up knocking it out, cause it might've just been Quagsire. Like Lapras might just get a sweep here. It might have just been Quagsire. Uh, I could always just Parish Song and then just win the game by switching or just like, my God, you do not have a good cry. <laughs> Yo, that cry is nasty. Hey, let me show you my Lapras. Also, if this is actually uh, G Max instead of, I don't know if G Max is allowed. I also don't know if this team. Oh, it's just a regular Dynamax Lapras. I get my massive HP because Lapras already got some thick HP. Get my Citrus Berry as well, and I'll be able to survive every hit, too. And I'll get up the hail. I did not eat that as well as I would have wanted to. That is for sure. Is that Solar Beam? Like, what? What move do you have? But I can max guard. Like, let's say I don't knock him out with this. Which I'm assuming I won't because they dynamite. I know they're four times weak to it. Then again, Northern is not. Like, Northern's kind of a pushover. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I will knock him out. I know it's four times effective and I'm offensive. Oh my gosh. Let's go, baby. And I get up the hill, which is on my side. And I still get recovery from grassy terrain. That's beautiful. So every Pokemon they have in the back kind of just loses. Like every Pokemon they have in the back kind of just straight up loses to this. I do not like that cry from Neuburn. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> It's like a track record being played wrong, like, whatever. Anyway, Quagsire? It is Quagsire. Oh, baby. Well, I just hit it twice with two max hailstorms, and that should knock it out. Uh, regardless of them toxicing or anything, I obviously have Freeze Dry on the back. So Lapras was definitely the best call, and I honestly feel like they should have um, Dynamax with Excadrill to break through me, because I think Neuvern... Well, honestly, though, not, not, not really, no. No, because I would have lived their hit. I would have gotten off serve damage. And then I had a Sash Poltergeist in the back. Oh, that doesn't even matter. I'm not. I'm just going to not waste time. I'm going to go right out. Because Lapras will always outspeed the Quagsire anyway. So, and Freeze Dry will always knock it out. It's four times effective. Uh, I'm just going to go right out to Poltergeist. Which will get its Focus Sash. Eh, no, never mind. No, Hail's up. I was gonna say I'll get it back with the max overgrowth, but nah, hell. But it doesn't matter either way. I'm just gonna throw off. Uh, I'm gonna throw off a nice little, nice little Giga Drain. Get my KO with the Poltergeist. Maybe they'll protect here, or recover. Recover does not matter at all. I have a grassy terrain boosted, four times effective move coming out. The T is going to end it right now. The T is going to end it right now. Give me this game. Give me this game. Yup. And there it is. That's the whole game. Gone. So fast, too. <laughs> Got my focus ash intact, too, for the next battle. All right. So we want to know with this squad. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty fast first game as well. Uh, Lapras just looked like the best choice. So I'm glad that it put in so much work early on. And then I'm glad that I didn't lead. It was just the right way. I felt like Hippo gave me good defensive backbone. Lapras was in general very tough for my opponent to deal with. Also, I think if they didn't rocks, like I understand them wanting to break Focus Ashes because I guess technically if I, if they didn't break my Focus Ash, hmm, and I KO'd them, right? If they got damage on me, they activated my Citrus Berry. Then they went Neuvern and Dynamaxed on me. I went Poltergeist. I Shell Smashed, which would make me faster. And then I Max Ghost. Which knocks him out. Alright, so Pol this is not the Poltergeist game. Hmm. What's your set again? You have Aura Sphere? 
All right, you are good. You're really good in this game. Uh, so you're very good in this game. Um, Ditto is annoying. Poltergeist. It's not good. It has double dark, a Ditto, and a, a normal type. So Poltergeist is terrible in this game. Um, Hepaton's okay. Lapras is very strong early on because it helps me break through Hydreigon and stuff like that. I do like Como. I'm really weak to Durant as well. But I like Lapras, Como. Uh, Lapras, Como. I'm kind of feeling the exact same thing as last time, but I Dragon just becomes annoying. Maybe Togekiss? But if I don't Dynamax Togekiss, if I bring Como, it's to Dynamax it, right? Alright, I guess I bring Hippo. Yeah, because like Hippo at least can fissure stuff. I don't know. I'm not feeling so strongly about this matchup. I think this is definitely going to be an L uh, if my opponent plays it right. And I don't, I don't say that a lot about like you know, just looking at the matchups. Like, this is a really tough one. My Poltergeist ain't doing nothing here. I just want to get a dub with it, too. Alright, so there's Grimstar Elite. No point in letting my Lapras get potentially paralyzed or taking any damage. Uh, I might as well go right out into my Powdon and maybe start setting up. I don't want to get Thunder Waved. Uh, I believe I have the Sand as well to break potential Sashes, but... The big thing is being able to stockpile up and eat hits. And Hydreigon doesn't have Roost, so even if they get up like Reflect and Light Screen to bring a Hydreigon and Nasty Plow up, it's okay. I don't know if they have Taunt. I don't know if they're Spirit Break plus Taunt. Uh, they could just be Thunderball, uh, Thunder Wave excuse me, plus Spirit Break. But either way, I think stockpiling up is my play. That way, whatever they bring out after, Hit Powdown does not care about. As they get up a Reflect, I don't care. Stockpile Hippo is about to eat all these hits up, baby. Get that defense and that special defense raise. I stockpile again. You can do it three times? Hell yeah. Because this will allow me to take on... Again, they could have taunt. I felt like they would have went for it, though, because I could have clicked Stealth Rock. But this will allow me to better take on the likes of... Um... Oh, and they're just wasting turns by going for Spirit Break, too. This will allow me to better take on the likes of uh, Durant... Um, Hydreigon as well. Just wasting turns on them. Ooh, get your booze, baby. I love it. And a Powdown has the leftovers too, so it's just going to be covering so much. Like, my special attack don't matter. But yeah, we're just going to get up another stockpile. As the, we're going to maximize my defense, obviously. And then, uh, at the same time, we are stalling out the turns that they have. Because if there's a if there is no reflect up, Hippowdon should be able to deal with Hydreigon via a two hit KO. And if I Dynamax, then Hippo can't die. Period. How much turns do they have of the reflect? I believe they are. Okay, so if their light screen wears off this turn, that means that they are the. They're not likely. They're probably a jack button. What would you bring out? Durant. Ah, you don't even care about this bad boy. Okay, so they're definitely... Um, I wonder if they Dynamax here. Because if they don't... If they don't Dynamax, then I can Fissure them. Home Claws doesn't exist, so they might just attack me with Iron Head. They do opt to Dynamax. Okay. Uh, so Fissure is going to fail guaranteed, but I am plus three defense, and I'm going to pout on with leftovers, so I don't know how much this thing is going to do to me. I bet you they're going to crit me immediately. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know how much they're actually going to end up doing to me. Maybe they'll max still spike. Max Knuckle to get the attack raise. Did a good chunk. I'm not gonna lie, are they life orb? They are life orb, okay. So Fissure can't work. Um I don't mind just Dynamaxing and Max Quaking. Uh they not they're not gonna do any damage to me if I Dynamax. Like even if they keep boosting. They're not gonna do any damage because I'm plus three defense, and my hippo gets his HP doubled, and I can land my attacks. 
Like, I should be good to go. Look at Hippo go, baby. Man, Hippo and Lapras just putting in some work. I can't believe Lapras just dominated that last game. I feel like Hippo's going to do the exact same here. And granted, they are getting a defense raise. But, man, that did absolutely nothing to Hippo at all. That did nothing. I'm not going to do anything back, though. They have Reflect and Defense Raise. Yeah, I'm not doing anything back at all. Special defense raise, that's completely fine. Uh, we'll go right for the max guard, that way their last turn of Dynamax is wasted. And that means the attacks will be uh, weaker, and they'll be taking hits better, uh, worse, excuse me. And then I can go for the max rock fall one more time. Yeah, so even with their plus one defense, that doesn't matter either. And I'll just go for a max rock fall, uh, just to get up the sand. It's not going to matter for this case. Maybe I should just go for Max Earthquake. Let me go for Max Quake, because the more special defense I have, the better I take on something like Hippowdon as well. Uh, it's not Hippowdon. The better I take on like something like Hydreigon. I, right now, I'm plus five special defense. So even if they're Nasty Plot, I'll be doing so much damage to them. And again, this Pokemon was the biggest problem in my opinion. Uh, granted, I'm going to take a lot more, but there's no Home Claws currently for Durant available. And provided I do not get flinched to death or crit, my Apadon should just be able to slack off and then just start rock sliding through them. So we already both wasted our Dynamaxes, which is okay. Plus they have Hustle working against them as well. And Life Orb, so they're taking damage turn per turn. So if I technically wanted to, I could just stay in and click slack off a few more turns. Well, I mean, I'm going to do it right now, just because I'm at 50%, obviously, but. Did a lot. They do not flinch me, though. Nice. Hey, go ahead and get your recovery pad on. And I believe, uh, I mean, I could go for Fissure. I could risk a Fissure, right not? It's not really that much of a risk. I don't need it to land, technically. I mean, they also have to hit their attacks, too, and crit me. Crit and flinch. He tried. So, like, it's just every every two turns, I have to click slack off. Just because I get I get relatively low. I think uh, Iron Head is a 4 KO on me, technically. Hmm. Are they going to switch to try and get up the screens? The screens won't matter if I hit you know, my Oko moves. And if they do switch out the rent, that means the defense is not going to be able to help them take... Like, Rockside would be a 2 KO if they switch it out. Nice. So I'm back at full. Ditto comes out. Oh, man. Okay. So they're going to try and hit Fissures versus me. I mean, they got the sand as well. So they're going to try and hit Fissures versus me. Uh-oh. 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 Who will hit the fissure first? Who will hit it first? Watch them hit it. Watch them hit it. Let's see. They missed the first one. I missed my second one. I don't really have a another play, do I? They hit... They hit. Ah. Uh, I think I lose now. Oh, well. That's unfortunate. But, I mean, it was me, you know, clicking buttons. I'm just going to flash cannon because it hits uh, Grimmsnarl if they want to go out to that. They don't know if I'm soundproof or not as well. There's no point in boosting because Ditto's going to come in after. Bro. <laughs> Yo! Bro. They're going to hit three, aren't they? 
The thing is, I lose now anyway because my last move is Parasong. So all they got to do is go out to Ditto, click Parasong, and uh, win from there. So I'll surf. Maybe I'll crit them. I could really use a crit, but then I also have to dodge Sewer Power from Durant as well. And then I have to crit Grimmsnarl too. Like, I have, to, I have to dodge in order to win. Oh, they're not even a uh, choice scarf. They just won Speed Tie. I still have to dodge moves in order to win, I think. I should actually go for Freeze Dry because Freeze Dry can freeze and crit, which is better for me. Yeah, I think Freeze Dry is a better play. I'm assuming there may be Focus Sash Ditto. Unfortunately, I got fissured by a pout on here. That's uh, it's very not nice. But again, Freeze Dry is still the better play. And Lapras still did it work, though. But like I said, I thought this was a pretty bad matchup regardless. Uh, though it could have turned into a good matchup had I hit my fissure of my own. All good, though. I'll take the 1-1. So my win cons here are freezing Grimstar and dodging freezing Grimstar and dodging uh, I mean I have to kill here too which I think I should have surfed I think surf would have been the actual kill but freezing Grimstar and dodging Durant can give me the win assuming I live spirit break and assuming this knocks him out too which I probably should have surfed there the last one because now I can't even win because uh, Grimstar will be oh well, I lost anyway I died to this but if I knocked him out there, I had to freeze Grimmsnarl with Freeze Dry on the first one. Um, and then he had to stay frozen. And then I had to dodge Durant's hustle move. So, they hit two fishes versus me. I can't complain. That's Pokemon. Hope you guys all enjoyed, though. Lapras put in some massive work in the first one. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Wi-Fi battle. So, uh, thank you, Keenan, for the team. Very fun. Lapras is cool. I think G-Max would have been really cool, too, to get the Aurora Veil. I wish I hit my fishes, man. That would have been sick, too. Because then, ooh, Hip Battle would have done the exact same thing that Hip Battle did to me. Because, I mean, they basically stole my Hip Battle right there. But, yeah, leave a like if you guys did enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.